In this video, we are going to go through the differences between speed and velocity and how we might plot these out over time. We have already looked at the differences between speed and velocity and what displacement time graphs are in this video. So to recap, speed is a scalar measurement. This means it only has a magnitude or size. In comparison, velocity is a vector measurement and so it has both a magnitude and a direction. Velocity therefore tells us how fast an object is moving as well as the direction the object is moving in. Let's have a look at how we can plot information about velocity onto a graph. As always, the time goes on the horizontal x-axis and now the velocity goes on the vertical y-axis as that's what we're measuring. Let's have a look at what a journey would look like plotted. Alice begins by standing still with a velocity of zero. As she begins to walk, her velocity will increase. She is accelerating. We draw a diagonal line to show that her velocity is increasing with time. The faster she accelerates, the steeper we draw the line. After this, she walks at a constant velocity. This means that the line will become horizontal across the graph. In this case, her velocity is no longer changing over time because she has reached a constant velocity. As Alice reaches her destination, she begins to slow down until she has come to a stop where her velocity will be zero again. This creates another diagonal line. This time, draw downwards towards the horizontal axis. In this part, Alice is deaccelerating. The faster she deaccelerates, the steeper the line we have to draw. So now it's your go. Can you draw this journey? Pause the video, give it a go, and click play when you're ready to check your answer. Did you get it right? We started by drawing a diagonal line that goes from 0 to 5 meters per second on the velocity axis and from 0 to 10 seconds. Then because she runs at a constant velocity of 5 meters per second, you should have a horizontal line at 5 meters per second from 10 seconds to 30 seconds. And then we end by drawing a downwards diagonal line from 5 meters per second to 0 meters per second and from 30 to 50 seconds to show her decelerating. Did you label your horizontal and vertical axes correctly with units? Fun fact, the fastest running velocity of a human to date is 10.3 meters per second. But scientists have discovered that our ancient ancestors could actually run faster. From fossilized footprints, scientists worked out that a human could run up for 12.5 meters per second. But we have the potential to run even faster, up to 16.7 meters per second. That means we could run 100 meters in just under 6 seconds. We'd better get practicing then. And that's all for this video. I hope you now understand how to draw velocity time graphs. In another video, we will look at what the area underneath the velocity time graph tells us.